Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'd like to talk about a great image processing software package called GIMP. And GIMP is free. That's the good news. And so if you don't have the money to buy Photoshop or another high-end uh, imaging package, you're going to find this a great substitute. So to get started, you want to go to www.gimp.org and download GIMP. So click on the download button. GIMP is cross-platform, so it'll run on Mac, Windows, or Linux. In this case, we will be running on a Windows machine, so just click on the Download GIMP 2.4.4. It'll take you to SourceForge and accept that. And go ahead and save it. And this is just your typical executable file once it's on your desktop. Click on it and go through the installation process. Everything is very standard here. So I've already done that. We won't go through that process. We'll go back to GIMP and let's talk about the interface. One more thing here. You're going to want to go ahead and check out the documentation. It's fairly good. And read more up on how to use it to enhance what we do with this tutorial today. Let's open up GIMP. Go to Start, Programs, GIMP, and GIMP2. And when GIMP opens up, you'll see the tip of the day, and uh, that may be useful for you, so for now we'll just close it. And you'll see two sets of panels, one on the right and one on the left. The one on the, the left is the GIMP's tools, and below that are the GIMP's tool options. And so as you click on different tools, you see there's different options, and that's extremely helpful. And the one on the right is the layers panel, and these layers are dockable, so you can slide them around and dock them di in different places. You can even slide them out. I can see we docked this out here. Uh, in this particular tutorial, we will not be dealing with the layers panel or the dialogs panel, so we'll go ahead and X that out. And we'll be specifically looking at the tools panel. Now, if you lose uh, the tool options panel or if you want to bring the dialogs panel back, uh, there's some steps you can take to do that. So here's uh, something actually from the GIMP uh, from the GIMP documentation. If your GIMP layout gets trashed. In the file menu from the main toolbox, you can actually go to Select File, Dialogs, Create, New Dock, Layers, Channels, and Pass. This will bring your dialogs back. So let's show you what I mean by that file. Dialogs, and Create New Dock, and Layers, Channels, and Pass. And there you go. You got your dialogs uh, back. Exile that. If you lose this Tool Options bar, which is extremely important, you can get that back by going Select File, Dialogs, Tool Options. So just go File dialogs and tool options and I'll bring that toolbar back so if you lose that you might be going well how the heck do I get that back well it's pretty easy to do just go to the dialogs tab so we're good there so what we're going to do now is bring in an image and start editing now when it comes to the editing process for the beginner there are like seven big things you need to know how to do scaling cropping cutting with transparency flipping rotating reducing and along with reduction comes saving. So we're going to show you how to do all those seven big items today. So let's bring in an image into GIMP. So go to File and Open. And I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I have an image on my desktop that I want to work with and that is Marketplace. So let's click on that. And this particular image I actually got from SketchUp. So we have a SketchUp image here we're going to work with a little bit and you're going to find it fairly easy to do. So the first thing we want to learn how to do is scaling. So we're going to change the size of this image. So we can come along here and click on the Scale tool and click right on the image. Now you can do a number of things here. You can just drag these control handles and scale that way. And notice I'm not scaling symmetrically. So there's a box that came up with it, a little panel here, and it allows me to lock it. See that lock right there? And from that, I can actually, it forces me to scale the image symmetrically. You see that? And many times when we're working with images that we just want to reduce in size to put on the web, we want to scale symmetrically. So you want to make sure you grab that corner control handle, and that'll allow you to do that. Now, if you want to actually control by the numbers, you want to scale by the numbers, you can just type in a different number, like, for example, 200, and hit Enter. And that will scale your image automatically. Let's try another one. Let's go 100 and hit enter. And does an automatic scale for you. Let's bring that up to 300 again. There you go. 
And you can take this lock off and do it actually uh, asymm asymmetrically as well. So that's just how you use that tool. Once you're done scaling, just hit scale and you're all set. And now we have this transparent background right here. We're going to take care of that. So what has happened is that we've shrunk our image, but our canvas size has stayed the same size. So we now have this transparent background. I'm going to get rid of that by going to image. And we're going to go fit canvas to layers. And so I grab that and click on that. And then we've done that. So now let's proceed with this. So now we know how to scale. Fairly easy to do. The next thing we want to learn, well, let's bring up our list, is how to crop. Cropping is really easy in in the GIMP, and so all you have to do is come along here, and this is great because you have these tool uh, hints, so if you forget what tool to use, just roll over and you'll see your tool tips come up. Here is my cropping tool. There we go, crop tool. Just click on it, and just go around the area that you want, and let go, and click, and it's automatically cropped both the canvas and the image to what you clicked over. Isn't that fantastic? So easy to do to crop an image. And many times we find that that's one of the things that we need to do. We'll get a photograph and we want a, of a full body and we just want the face, so we'll just crop around the face. Okay, next. So if I look at my list, the next thing I want to do is cut with transparency. And this probably is one of the biggest things that instructors want to know how to do. Typically they have an image and they want to pull a piece of it out and put it over another image uh, so they can move it anywhere they want with a transparent background. So let me show you how to do that in GIMP. Just come over here to the Paths tool and click on that. And then you'll just basically click and then move and click and move and outline the object you want to grab. And depending on how complex your object is, you'll actually have to make more of these clicks. This is a simple one. So I chose this. And notice when I, I roll over the closing uh, path, the little arrow at the top of the tool there, the right-hand side, gets uh, larger. Click on that, and now you can see it's been closed. And at this point, you want to hit Shift-V to go from path, and Control-I to select everything but what's inside the path, then Delete to delete everything but what's inside the path. So that was the number of steps. Now, how did I know how to use all those control keys? We'll go to the Select menu, and you can see Shift-V was to go from path. Control I was to invert, and then delete obviously is pretty universal as delete what's been selected. So I selected everything that was outside the path and I deleted it. Now, if you want to really become good at this type of software, you want to learn these keyboard commands, and it's made pretty easy because each time you go to the menu items, you can see the keyboard commands are right there. Memorize those commands, you'll find them very useful and it will speed up how much you can do. So now we have an image and a transparent background. You can click on this move key here and actually move it wherever you want to. See that? There you go. Control Z undo undoes my last command and Control Y uh, redoes my last command. So remember Control Z, Control Y uh, in GIMP can be extremely useful. Good, let's move on to the next topic. Let's control Z all the way back to the original image. There we go. And now what we want to do in GIMP is learn how to flip. Flipping is extremely easy. There's a flip command over here in the uh, toolbox. There you go. Just click on it and roll over your image and click flip and your image flips back and forth. Very easy to do. Next thing we want to do is rotate and you can just go over here to the uh, toolbox and here's the rotate command just click on that and click on your image and up comes a dialog box and you can just basically scroll the amount of rotation that you want let me move that out of the way a little bit so if you don't if you want to get it exact for example you want to rotate 160 180 degrees then you can just type the number in otherwise you can use a scroller and when you're done you can just click rotate and it rotates the image for you. Very easily done. I'm going to control Z just to get back. So let's check out the big seven here. And we have two left, reducing and saving. And we'll treat that in the next video.